So it is long overdue for me to do a room tour. Now I did film it actually a few weeks ago, but um, I literally two days ago changed all the decor in my room. I took down, I had a lot of BTS merch up if you have seen my previous videos and I actually put them away uh, just because the merch wasn't bringing me joy anymore. So I just put them away to look at in the future. I'm just kind of exploring my interests now and I'm getting back into fashion a lot. So I want to surround myself with that stuff now. If I look tired, it's because I am. I am currently experiencing Mother Nature's finest creation for women. You can kind of guess, hence the outfit too. Without further ado, let's get into my room tour and I hope you enjoy. When I first walk into my room, this is what I see. My mirror and my wardrobe is right here. Hello, again. Do not mind those patches on the wall. I had to paint those up yesterday because I got paint to cover up scratches and clearly you can see it, so ignore it, please. <laughs> Here's my bed covers and we're back around to the door and if i turn around here i am so as i said here is my wardrobe we had it custom built about almost a year ago now i'd say um i designed it myself Ta -da! not very fun then down below there's two drawers this drawer is for like socks and tights and then i've got the brassieres over there which i'm not going to show <laughs> And then down here is mostly pyjamas, some sweatshirts and some like workout clothes as well. And then up the top is just like, I put seasonal clothes up there and some storage stuff. So I cannot reach, it's very high, I need a ladder. It's literally just a bunch of summer clothes and like work clothes. Here's my mirror. My mirror is from Michael Guinness, which is an Irish shop. I love it, it's big. And it was actually very cheap for the size of it. It was like 90 euro, which is so good for this size. Like, it's humongous. Over here is my, I guess, infamous cube shelves that I have shown in previous videos where I organized BTS merch. As you can see, most of that is gone. I do keep out the BT21 stuff. So I just kind of simplified a lot of the shelves because it was too cluttered for me. So I guess I'll start on the top. Um, this is a storage box that looks like a book and I just keep all of my stickers and stuff for journaling in here and some pens. I got this candle the other day from Brown Thomas. It's the Berries one from Diptyque. I definitely smelt it before but I can't remember where I've smelt it before but it's, it's pretty nice. I like it. My mom got this Christmas decoration like a year ago and we kind of forgot about it. And we found it like a couple of weeks ago when we were putting up the Christmas decorations and we had nowhere to put it downstairs in the living room. So she gave it to me and it actually works really well with my aesthetic, I guess. The basket I got the other day in soft stream green. Very nice. I have my Dior notebook. I don't know if I've talked about that before, but I got a Dior notebook. Fairly affordable for such a luxury brand. Um, it was like 50 euro and that's including shipping. I have my Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. Probably one of my favorite perfumes ever. This bunny, I don't even remember where I got him, but he's cute as a decor there. Fairy lights, no idea where they're from. They're actually my mom's technically, but I took them. <laughs> uh, C by Giorgio Armani. I really like this perfume too. It reminds me a lot of London. A candle from River Island. More Dior stuff. Um, I bought a Dior purse. It was my Christmas present to myself and it's actually very, very useful. I'm, I have no regrets buying it because I struggle a lot with finding a nice purse. And this one is like for cards, but I can also put cash in there if needed. Um, it's very small as well, so it fits in like every single bag. And if I just need to take it with me on its own, I can do that. It's um the Lady Dior card gusset wallet with five compartments in it. And this one is made of lambskin because the calfskin ones didn't have this color. Um, I absolutely love it. Then this is like something you get with any Dior order, I guess. 
it comes as like a, I don't know what to call it, but you can read it there if you want. And I just printed out this drawing that I found online. Um, if anyone knows the artist, let me know, because I would love to know. I got this frame then in Dunn's, so it's kind of like a mounted frame. Then we moved to down here. I have a international DVD player. My mom got me this like a few years ago, I think for Christmas. Basket, I can't remember where it's from. Maybe New Look, I got that a few years ago too. I have this Line Friends Barrett that I got in Claire's for, it's like five euro now in there, so if you're looking for one, go in there. This shelf then is, this is the box I got with the purse. So that's on display, and I got this the other day in the post, and it's actually just a bunch of, like as you can see, poses for fashion illustration. So I'm trying to get back into that soon and those are very helpful to have. Then here I have my like probably only nice handbag that fits a lot and it's from Martin J. I've talked about this before in some videos but it's a South Korean brand. I watched um, Q2 Han's video of like their bag organization and I just fell in love with the blue bag that I had to get it for myself. Then down here is an RJ nightlight. So you just kind of over here then I have, I think it's mostly bracelets and some necklaces in here and the ribbon that came with the Dior packaging which I actually want to make a pillowcase out of at some stage if I find the right fabric. This candle then as well that I got in Home Sense or TK Maxx, either one. Here's a picture of me and my granddad. In here then is where I put the camera that I'm... Okay, nothing wants to open for me. I put my camera that I'm using now in here and some wires and matches. Over here then I have the box for my Nintendo Switch which I got the other day. Cards Against Humanity, some books that I, I have not read Harry Potter, I read some of it but I never finished it. But these two, these three I finished, this is a Christmas card. This one is really good if you're someone who wants to start a business in the future and it's a it's a bit romantic as well but and it's about friendship a lot so if you're into that glamour by louise bagshaw <laughs> i read it like a year ago and i loved it down here then are some just fabric cubes for storage mostly i got these in the range so that's that section done off and now we move over to literally just in front of me here. So these are the final things I needed done in my room which were shelves and we got them done a few weeks ago so anyway my TV I think it's 32 inch Philips got it a few years ago for Christmas like I bought it myself an air purifier because my sinuses have been feeling very pressured lately and that actually kind of helps in this corner no <laughs> i'm not gonna show myself in this corner this is my um journal it's from moleskin i found it in tk Maxx. it's like a sage green and i saved the sticker off the dior packaging and put it on this stand then is from shein got baby tata i found kermit recently and i had to put it there and then there's a Christian Dior book that my best friend Amber gifted me for Christmas last year, I think. I have some fairy lights, which I'm gonna turn on right now. Ta-da! I got them on Amazon. They're just like these wire ones and they look really nice at night. They're like little stars. Like my camera can't even focus. On this shelf, I just have the painting that I did with my friend Atayo. And then sometimes you get, I, I only got one of these, I think, but you get a bag to put whatever you bought in if you're giving as a gift. But I bought some flowers on Amazon, just fake ones and put them in and I absolutely love the look of it. And then when I stand up here, it's a bit bare at the moment, but I have Orge and then this um, letter organizer, I guess it's called. And then yet another Dior thing, which is like where you get your receipt in. And my BTS ticket as well from Wembley last year. So that's that section finished. And then literally right here is my bed. My floor is creaky, I'm so sorry. My bedding is from Harry Kari. Oh no, it's not, sorry. It's actually from um, Amazon. 
I got it on Amazon. I painted that rose a few years ago. I can't remember how old I was, I was probably like 14. Right next to my bed is my vanity table. I got this lamp yesterday in Woody's, which is also an Irish kind of, an Irish supply shop. Um, it's so cute, I love it. Then it opens up, it's like the Ikea one. It's a bit of a mess in there, but I don't, I can never organize it. I just have some makeup and deodorant and cream. And there's a mirror here. Hello. And then there's just a drawer here and I have just a bunch of random stuff in there. So, and medicine. This is from Argos, I think. The chair then is also from Guyanese. Then here is the last piece, which is my Ikea drawer unit. I got this in September. I just have all storage in here. So like in the bottom is like jumpers. Just have my cellar water and sunscreen and Q-tips. And then this one is makeup that I don't really use, hair things, brushes, and then other like necklaces and jewelry that I don't really wear. In here then is, I guess, journaling supplies. There's a lot of pens in here and I'm planning on putting maybe my sketch pad in the bottom of this. Some nail varnish that I have not moved. I'm wearing this color. See you latte, my mood. I really like it. I think it's actually um, vegan and cruelty free and it's available in boots and it's actually fairly affordable. It's like five, six euro for one bottle. There is another notebook, another planner, some washi tape. And then in the final top drawer, I just put this in here for now, but this, I found this in Aldi. It's a jigsaw and it's in, it's in like a video cassette box. Isn't that so cool? And I love the breakfast club, so I'm really excited to make this. iPad, hairbrush, bobbles, measuring tape, hair clothes, hair dryer, random stuff like that I don't need, sunglasses. And that's it for the drawers. And then up here, I got this on Amazon as well. I got so much on Amazon. Like, like some, sometimes it's the only place you can find stuff like that. They actually don't have the gold one available anymore, um, which is really weird. But there is a silver one and if anyone wants the link to it, just comment and ask me. Because I don't think I'll be linking anything <laughs> down below. Just ask me and I will let you know, I promise. This is the box that the notebook came in, which is very surprising, the size of it, compared to the notebook. You get this as well. I got that with the, the bag with the flowers in it. I got this jewellery case in the Harrods Duty Free in Gatwick Airport last year. I just have my favourite jewellery in it. It's um, the designer is Estella, Estella Bartlett. So very handy for travelling actually. There's no mirror in it, but I think you can get ones with mirror, mirrors in it from other brands. Uh, I have an alien perfume. These are then my earrings that I have. And then another candle. So that's pretty much it for my room tour video. I'm shocked that I filmed nearly 20 minutes of footage. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit it down as much as I can. Um, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, if you have any questions on where I got things, just let me know down below, comment, and I will respond. And if I can get you a link, I will send you a link. Okay, my battery's gonna die. I'm gonna go. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'll see you in the next video, which is probably gonna be a Christmas Eve vlog. So, yeah, bye!